You know, uh, when uh, Trayvon Martin was first shot, uh, I said that this could have been my son. Uh, another way of saying that is uh, Trayvon Martin could have been me uh, 35 years ago. And when you think about why, in the African American com community at least, um, there's a lot of pain around what happened here. Uh, I think it's important to recognize that um, the African American community is looking at this issue through uh, a set of experiences and a, and a history that, uh, that doesn't go away. You know, there are very few African American men in this country who haven't had the experience of being followed when they were shopping in a department store. That includes me. There are very, very few African American men who haven't had the experience of walking across the street and hearing uh, the locks click on the doors of cars. That happens to me, at least before I was a senator. There are very few African Americans who haven't had the experience of getting on an elevator and a woman clutching her purse uh, nervously uh, and holding her breath until she had a chance to get up. That happens often. And you know, I, I don't want to exaggerate this, but those sets of experiences inform how the African American community interprets uh, what happened uh, one night in Florida. Uh, and it's inescapable for people to bring those experiences to bear. Uh, the African American community is also knowledgeable that uh, there is a history of racial disparities in the application of our criminal laws. Uh, everything from the death penalty to enforcement of our drug laws. Uh, and that ends up having an impact in terms of how people interpret the case. Uh, now this